And now let's finish world number four by going to Bowser's Gravity Gauntlet. We're going to be breaking into Bowser's castle, which is filled with all sorts of fireballs and lava, as you would expect. The beginning part of this galaxy is really simple. We have red blocks which show you where to go. So follow the red brick road. Follow the red brick road. Follow, 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 follow the red brick road. Here you might want to follow along the fireball platforms to get a light mushroom. Very, very handy. And here you want to jump on the crate which is moving left and right to get to the next platform. Uh oh, it's another magic Koopa. Kill it. And then just keep going forward. We're already at the checkpoint. And here you might want to do a backflip to get the Comet Medal. You just move to the right. Wait for the um, jumping fireballs to go down before making any jumps. And here the challenge is that gravity is weird. So like here, I'm upside down. So instead of pushing up to go forward like I normally do, I have to push down to go forward. The control scheme is all backwards. It's strange because of the strange gravity. That's the trick to this area. You're probably going to get fooled by the strange controls and the strange gravity. Oh, and now we're underwater. Yeah, now we're underwater, so you want to swim through this area. Don't forget that you can always refill on air by grabbing a coin. Swimming, swimming, swimming. And end of the swimming challenge? End of the swimming challenge. Okay, and here are more areas where gravity is weird, but hey, the red brick road is back, so follow the red brick road, follow, follow, follow it. Uh oh, dry bones. Oh man. And here, just like everywhere else in this level, gravity is just kind of weird. Gravity is just, just really, really weird. That's all. And I want to get this platform here on the left, where I want to run in this direction, counterclockwise, in order to reach the star. If you need a life mushroom, there's one over there. And just like last time, you want to send these meteors hurling into the blocks to open the doorway so you can reach the boss battle against, of course, the Big Bad Bowser. Alright, Bowser, Mario's ready for you. Okay, Bowser. Where's our cake, Bowser? Mario is furious. You stole Princess Peach, you stole our cake, it's time to get some punishment. Hey, where is Bowser? Ah, there he is! Yes, it's me. It's a me, Mario. Mario's mad, but for some reason he doesn't say anything because I guess Mario never talks. And this boss battle is pretty much the same as last time, only now we have electricity beams. 
Whenever Bowser punches the planet, you'll notice that an electricity beam will go across the entire planet, so just jump to dodge the purple electricity. The same thing happens when comets fall. The comets also have electricity beams, which, will, which you will have to jump to dodge. This time there are only two comets that appear instead of three, so you have less ammo to shoot at Bowser. electricity beams, run it out of the way of Bowser's fist. Once he punches the planet, jump to one of these asteroids and send it flying at Bowser. Now Bowser is going to shoot flames at you, just to make this boss fight a little bit more difficult. Shoot flames at you before punching the planet. So dodge the flames, and then when he punches the planet, do what you've been doing all along. Jump onto one of those meteors and send it flying at Bowser. Ow! It's hitting me with his flames of death. Generally, an easy way to avoid those flames of death is by doing a long jump out of the way, but for some reason that doesn't seem to be working this time around. Ah, oh, there we go, it worked there. Okay. And there we go, Bowser defeated. Simple enough. Pretty much the exact same boss fight as last time, only with the added challenge of the electricity beams. Oh sure, whatever, Bowser. I bet 50 star bits Bowser doesn't really have a master plan. He's just making this up as he goes along. We just got the Grand Star, that will open a portal to the next world, world number 5. Okay, so we found the fourth Grand Star, and I'm guessing there are eight in all. Seems like a safe enough guess. Generally, there are eight worlds in any single Mario game. And onward to world number five! Mm -hmm. 